Hello friends, welcome back. Let us prepare simplex table 1 from the simplified version of the linear programming problem which is originally the dual of a minimization problem. Now the dual is as maximization problem. Uh, row 1 and row 2 the values in z function or objective function are 4y1 4, 4800, 4y2 4, 7200 S1, S2, 0, R1, R2, select variables become the solution variable as we know in simplex method. In the initial solution, the value of basic variables are 0, so these two are 0, that's why S1 is 40, S2 is 40, that type of initial solution is there. If you solve this problem through graphic method, at point 0, 0, S1 equals to 40 and S2 equals to 24 will be there. The coefficients of y1 are 20 and 50. They are for y2, 80 and 50 respectively. S1, 1 and 0 because in second case no S1. In first case no S2. So 0 and 1. And values are 40 and 24. And the CJ values in the column for S1 and S2 are 0, now we can write the z values, 0 into 20, 0, plus 0 into 50, 0, so 0, similarly 0 into 80, plus 0 into 50, 0, similarly all zeros, and now we can write the delta values, cj minus zj, cj, 4800 minus 0, 4800, 7200 minus 0, 7200, 0 minus 0, 0. Now, let us check, is this optimal solution? Our objective is maximization. So, all delta J values should be 0 or negative to have the optimal solution of a maximization problem. But here, they are not. All the delta values are not 0 or negative. So, this is not the solution or optimal solution of maximization problem. So, we have to go forward and select the column with the highest delta value, say column of y2 and y2 becomes key column and now divide solution values by the respective element in the key column, 40 divided by 80 that is 1 by 2 or 0.5 and 24 divided by 50 that is 0.48. Never write decimal values in simplex table. Just for the purpose of comparison, making the comparison easy, I am writing and I am suggesting to write you decimal values. But except the minimum ratio replacement ratio, never write decimal values in the simplex table. Always use fractions only. Yes. So 0 0.48 is the minimum. So why R2 becomes the outgoing row or replacement row or key row and this 50 being the common element of key column and key row becomes the key element. Now what? Now we have to prepare the second simplex table which we are going to discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.